Hi, everybody. It is August 26, 2020. Floods and fires. I will show you the flooding that is taking place in many places around the world. It is so overwhelming. The scale of destruction is so intense now. And I've been doing this for years and years and years. And I have never seen what is happening right now. Let me start with China. It's bad. And China, China is leading the way right now in terms of the scale of destruction, though it is a very big country. There are a lot of smaller countries that have just this past week faced the attack, the weather being used as a weapon. All right. Deborah Tavares uh, just gave an interview and I will link below to everything. I want to play a few minutes of what Deborah Tavares, she herself, she and her family, what they are facing in Sonoma County, California, the fires. It seems that the endlessness of particular areas being hit over and over and over again, the endlessness of the fires and the endlessness of the flooding that is taking place, let's just say they have upped their game using weather as weapons. Liana, um, I am in um, a little bit of exhaustion mode because we have been, um, again, uh, um, Deborah Tavares with StopTheCrime.net, and I would ask everybody that's listening, please subscribe to our YouTube channel on StopTheCrime.net, and be sure to click the bell notification so you will be notified whenever we post a new video. And I want to thank you, Yana, so much for uh, having me today, Tuesday, August the 25th, 2020, to give an update. I first of all want to acknowledge the prayers, all the prayers that people have been uh, certainly um, praying for my family and others in California. I would offer that we uh, say prayers for everyone in this country, in fact, worldwide, because of the exacerbation of directed energy weapons and weather warfare worldwide. As, as we know here in California, where I am, 60 miles north of the Golden Gate Bridge, in Sonoma County, we have been facing one of the larger wildfires that many of which were started by dry lightning strikes. Again, those are weapons systems. And uh, this all started back on August the 15th. And fire season for California has now uh, kicked in to high gear sooner than ever before. This is unprecedented historic levels of fires in California. 
right now. We have over 535 fires uh, burning in the state right now. Of course, that's as of today, while many of the fires were merged together. So there were more fires originally. We have to acknowledge the fact that the perpetrators will determine the cause of these fires because they were started by those that have the energy weapons and the systems to start the fires. I would reference uh, some of my prior videos, uh, one in particular called Plan to Burn Up Northern California that I discussed back in 2015. Rothschild is embedded in this criminality. It's really not criminal. Um, because we are the enemy, and uh, the structure is not set up on our behalf. But uh, having that been said, I want to go over more of the statistics here where I am right now and then tell you what it was like for me and my family. And uh, so we have to understand that um, it's all conflicted chaos, and it's a lack of critical thinking. People are not thinking, largely because they can't. They're believing the propaganda of the of the newspapers and of the radios, and you need to understand they are all um, contrived to keep you in an illusion of reality that does not exist. So I'm going to just read some of the headlines in my local papers, so you'll know the the enormity of the psychological warfare against the people in an area that has. We have been burned out for three consecutive years. Many thousands and thousands of homes have been lost. Lives have been lost. We already have deaths in these combined fires that are raging right now. And um, and so this is psychological warfare as much as it is actual burning up of properties. Thousands of homes, again, thousands of homes. But here's some of the headlines. Um, the fire crews are stretched. Um, stretched thin. They don't have enough resources. They go on to talk about how they're going to have to set up more aerial attacks. And of course, we have been told because of the heavy smoke, they can't fly the, the larger uh, fixed-wing airplanes into the fire zones because they can't see. But I will tell you, last uh, about four days ago, we did see a, a massive aerial assault on the wall Bridge fire. That's the fire nearest us. This would be a fire um, 60 miles north of the Golden Gate Bridge, very much in the proximity of Bohemian Grove. So far, I'm not hearing that Bohemian Grove has been uh, singed by any fire at all, but I know many areas in its proximity have. I know a number of people, uh, many people have been back evacuated from that area, and I know a number of structures have been already lost in that area alone. I'm only talking about the Wall Bridge fire. Now, uh, uh, family members were uh, forced or were told to evacuate. I will tell you lessons learned that uh, we uh, certainly are on our own. We do not have a government that represents us in the agencies such as Cal, Cal Fire here in California. If you type in Cal Fire on your search line and uh, climate action plans, you will find that Cal Fire subscribes to climate action plans, which means uh, getting people out of the um, wildland urban interface, which is the WUI, W-U-I. Wildlands Urban Interface. That means the rural country areas. Your fire departments are involved in implementing those policies. People do not understand. This is double speak. They are telling us they're here to help us, and yet they espouse plans and policies that are contrary to what we're being told they're doing. They go on in some of the front pages. They talk about how lightning threats loom over the county. We were told just two days ago that we were going to have a repeat of dry lightning strikes. They, uh, here we are in the middle of massive burning. Uh, we're taking shifts and patrols on our property with hoses stretched everywhere. So in the event of continued embers uh, raining down upon us, we can put out spot fires. And uh, the enormity and the stress of that 
has really taken a toll. We're exhausted. And um, I can only say that right now I'm still feeling uh, exhausted and realizing the enormity of the assault upon us here in California, but elsewhere as well. I look at the storms coming in on um, New Orleans right now. They're going to have storm surge. Those are all weaponized capabilities of what they do along the coastlines. For those of you that have not listened to our YouTube Coastlines Under Attack, I would recommend that you do so. Coastlines Under Attack. You will find that every branch of all the military is engaged in assaulting all of us. We have to understand before I continue with the fire conversation is that all politics, right versus left, is the entertainment division of our overlords. Again, all politics, right versus left, is the entertainment division and also of the new world order. It is just a game. It's just a game. And I've talked about that many, many times on prior shows that we do not have a government that we vote for. It is a political structure set up of massive corporate agencies that are put in place to manage every move we make and putting forth policies that are destroying all of us. So I mentioned to you that Cal Fire, who is our agency here, supports UN Agenda 20. 5, 20, 20, whatever agendas United Nations, they support the reduction of people living in and outside the city growth boundaries. Uh, those policies are genocide policies, and our fire agency supports it. Again, you can type in your fire agency on your search line and type in climate action plans. They will support the goals of those plans. Same thing with the agricultural departments. Here in our county, the Farm Bureau discussed this morning how uh, the cattle on some of the larger grazing areas where the grass is burnt cannot be um, relocated because some of the ranchers have too many cattle. And they're going to be allowed to go in and feed the cattle, but they're going to have to also drop hay for them as well because they're in fire-restricted zones. And um, the Farm Bureau supports not allowing uh, beef and grazing in the wild lands, urban interface. Urban interface. I will link below to Deborah's uh, and uh, Yana Benoon's video so you can listen to the entire video by clicking on the link. This squeezing, squeezing of ranchers and farmers. Oh, you can only farm on so many acres. You can only have so many cattle. This has been going on for decades and rules and regulations and then you, yeah, decades later, you have this guy coming in. Oh, I'm going to I am going to get rid of all of those rules and regulations, but you've got a lot of Trump supporters that never checked out the rules and regulations that he was getting rid of. And I also have posted videos on all of our federal agencies, as well as state agencies, are implementing the United Nations Agenda 21, Agenda 2030 plan. It's all in the works. Nothing is being stopped. The only, the only people who can stop this is you and me and all of us. Relying on somebody who actually is working for the government, uh-uh, doesn't work. So I will link below to coastlines under attack, storm surges artificially created. Let me play a few minutes of this video. Deborah Tavares at a uh, board of supervisors meeting in Sonoma County where she lives, planned to burn up Northern California disclosed. When was this video? February 2018. Very much, boy. It's been a very long time since I've been here. This is Deborah Tavares with StopTheCrime.net. I say that because there is a very significant YouTube there on Stop the Crime, And one of the reasons why I was not here for two and a half years I used to be a regular attendee here. 
But um, Pacific Gas and Electric was intercepted with a download of documents professing the fact that they were going to be using directed energy weapons satellite based on Sonoma County. That has been up on YouTube with a plan to burn up Northern California. We discovered that Pacific Gas and Electric is operated by and large by Rothschild. Rothschild owns Weather Central and also has a large hand in weather modification globally. And I'm so sad to be here today because I have family members that lost homes. And I live in a county that I call home that is being literally overrun by a power that has not yet been discussed. And I'm horrified and sad to be here right now. Very sad. But the plan to burn up Northern California was real. It was your first early morning. And there were emails that were sent to other government officials that knew about this. And I would ask you please to watch the YouTube, listen to it, because the second plan of burning up Northern California hasn't yet happened, but it will. It will happen. So Pacific Gas and Electric is Rothschild. Everybody listening can type in PG&E followed by Rothschild. You can also type in Edison International in Southern California followed by Rothschild. You will in fact find out that Rothschild is behind all of the utilities nationwide. This is why our grid is not hardened up against an electric, an EMP, electromagnetic pulse. I will link below. Um, Rothschild the bankers of the Vatican. The Jesuits are behind an awful lot that is taking place in our country. So many people, they don't focus on the Jesuits. They only focus, well most, focus on the Jews as if it's the Jews. That's, that, that kind of thinking is so, oh well, I don't even want to go there. The Zionists, the Jesuits, the Jesuits use, use the Zionists. The great deception and discernment. Discernment means that you have to reevaluate your thinking, reevaluate your beliefs, get a hold of your confirmation bias. The Jesuits, Jesuits are taking us down. Now, did you hear Deborah Tavares? Family members lost their home. That was back in 2018. Now she's trying to save her home. All right. Oof, man, this is hard, huh? It's hard. Plant to burn up Northern California disclosed. After she speaks at the Board of Supervisors, she speaks with Jamie of uh, A Plain Truth and discloses the plans. And I will link below. I, uh, there's a search on everybody's channel, a search bar. You click the magnifying glass and you type in what you want to search on that channel. Plans to burn up California. Those of you who do not understand what is taking place with the fires and with the flooding, I suggest that you on other channels. I've got my own playlist. Deborah Tavares has her own playlists. Um, forcing fire victims to sell. All right. Um, <laughs> there's so much that comes into my mind to speak, but yeah. We are the enemy. We are at war. They're using many weapons against us, but whether the fires, the flooding, it is on a scale now that is so horrific that it's really hard to face. I, it's hard to face. And I do know that an awful lot of people have chosen not to face it, to turn around, 
to live comfortably until they die. Or until their house burns up or is flooded out. And that's no way to fight a war. So, um, and that's exactly what we're living now. Hell on earth. So, I will link below as well to this the directed energy weapons, the globalist push for genocide. I will be posting a video on all of the pictures that I have captured that, well, let's just say an anomaly is no longer an anomaly when we are seeing the same anomalies over and over. And the anomalies in the fires that are taking place right now are the same anomalies that we have been posting for years and years. And I'll show those anomalies that show that directed energy weapons, once again, in use in the fires in California. This is the, this is the video that stopped me. I'm having a hard time. Um, and I'm trying to break it. Hell on earth, evil, the suffering. By ignoring it, we get to go on and just live as comfortably as we can. I can't ignore it because I know ignoring it gets us nowhere. Mainstream media does not show the real horror of what is taking place. Though, I have to say, this video, I think, did make it. Yes, USA Today. There are so many videos out there. I mean, you just see this one small one, right? Lake Berryessa. As you know, journalists, they have special access to the evacuation, 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 evacuation zones. Uh, and one of the reasons uh, is, is so we can show you devastation just like this. Just like this. De personalized de devastation, devastation and that's exactly what that's exactly Tyler what Horst, uh, Tyler Horst uh, and I have been doing all day. I've been going around, been going around to individual, individual, to individual communities, all the way from all the way Lake Berryessa Lake Berryessa to Vacaville, to Vacaville, just to show you the just to show you the damage. Take a look. The hillsides are as black, black as the asphalt along Highway 128. We're looking all along we're looking Lake Berryessa to some Barry of these communities. As we travel west along Lake Berryessa, the burn scars from the mountain scab over homes in Steel Canyon and the luxury community of Lake Berryessa Highlands. It came so fast. All of Steel Canyon was burning and we were defending this side of the house, my son Chad and I. Darren Witcher lives off Headland Drive in Woodhaven Court. He watched it all go up in flames as he evacuated. There are several hundred homes and a hundred roughly failed in this event. Our cameras captured some of that destruction off Headland between Woodhaven and Steel Canyon Road. Back on Highway 128, power lines litter the road. Then we make it to the town of Spanish Flat. We're coming into Spanish Flat Mobile Home Park here. Metal frames and melted glass. That's all that's left of some 75 mobile homes. It's traumatic. Ashley Purcell and her daughter got a police escort to their home this morning so she could look for family keepsakes. There's a few things from uh, my grandfather that passed away in 2007. And it was stuff that we'd already lost to the 2017 fires. There will be many tears shed along Highway 128, but thankfully, the lake community here will be there for each other when they dry. Okay. Here we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no, the horses. Ash? Ash? Dag? Oh, 
Oh no, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. When we just hear the numbers, that's uh, cold reporting. I know that I said I was going to get into the flooding. I can't. I'll do that next. I'll just show you one picture. Hank Hansen, 81, looks at artificial flowers that remained standing at the LNU Lightning Complex fire. His home destroyed. The Vacaville. It, he lived in Vacaville. He built his house 30 years ago. Does not think he will rebuild. The plastic chairs are completely fine. Not even dirty. The table the flowers, the home, directed energy weapons are being used once again, once again. So, um, when you know and when you're careful to get some evidence that, yes, directed energy weapons are being used, because this is essentially a picture of microwaves being used, high power microwaves. When you put plastic in a microwave, what happens? Nothing. Nothing. The plastic doesn't catch on fire, it doesn't melt. You put metal in a microwave, and you know what happens. A fire starts. But microwave ovens are not used as a weapon, though they can be. When you have high-powered microwave weapons, they can level a house, bring it to dust, and leave untouched. We, ha we have been hearing how hot these fires are, and you're going to tell me that it didn't melt these chairs? So something is wrong with this picture here. So, uh, but it's not just California. Argentina is facing their own wildfires. Okay, I'll link below. But uh, we also have Hurricane Laura. Do you see how flatlined it is right here at the top of Hurricane Laura? Using electromagnetic frequencies, keeping it stuck right in this area will push it towards Texas, Houston, 
last night. It must have been midnight. I learn that at least 700,000 were under mandatory evacuation in Texas and Louisiana. Yep, Hurricane Laura. A manufactured hurricane. I have many captures on this and I will post a video showing how manufactured it was as well as the abject lunacy of the mainstream media meteorologists reporting on Marco that completely missed Louisiana. I was looking for um, what kind of flooding took place in Florida and Alabama and Georgia, if anybody knows of any flooding in the Panhandle and those states, please leave a link below. We're under attack. You like that? You like that cloud that just takes on the perimeter of the coastline? pushing it right into Texas once again. But as you can see, um, this is being hit by electromagnetic frequencies. Let's do a sub-regional. We don't have squared off clouds, defined lined clouds. We don't have a rectangle eye of a hurricane. I have many play I have many videos on my playlist. I have a weather modification playlist. I have a geoengineering playlist. I have flooding playlists. Um, I have directed energy weapon playlists. So if you're new to this, then check out my playlist, do research. There are many methods in which they can control. They can control the weather. They can create it. So when you see these squared off clouds, you know electromagnetic frequencies are being used. When you see it squared off down, um, sorry, up here at the top, you know that they are redirecting this. You hold it right here. It's going to push forward because this is the direction. The You see the air mass is going in this direction, spinning. So, flooding. Oh my god, Afghanistan, Pakistan, um, India, Italy, um, Turkey, Ireland, Scotland, you've got your warnings, UK, nothing like China, Cameroon, Jamaica, Haiti, Puerto Rico, the list is very long. Flooding taking place simultaneously. For all of those people who believe this is climate change, I feel really sorry for you because you are programmed. You don't realize you have lost yourself and mainstream media is taking over for you. Climate change is not real. Weather modification is bringing about the climate change lie. This has been going on for decades, only getting worse. And when you have people who are being destroyed, and when you have animals being burned up, horses and cows, she lost all of her livestock, except for one horse, I believe, that video that I showed. For people who just won't even look into weather modification, 
directed energy weapons being used, you are responsible for the suffering, for the destruction, for the deaths. This has been going on for a long time, a very long time. And it's because we don't have the numbers of, of people who will look into what's the real cause of what is taking place. And because we have an awful lot of people who simply do not have the courage, the courage that clearly Deborah Tavares has to stand up, speak out, go before the board of supervisors and say all of the things that, yeah, get her marked as a crazy conspiracy theorist. Get all of us marked as just crazy because we've done the research, we've looked at the evidence, we still have our critical thinking skills, we know what's happening, they're also directly responsible for turning this world insane. They're directly responsible for killing off truth and letting the lies continue. And as the lies continue, more and more people suffer, more and more animals suffer, more destruction comes about. And it's really hard to take. Quick look at radar. Can't see much. Please be safe, you guys, in Texas, Louisiana.